Okay. All right, August Sebastian, go ahead. There 23rd. we go. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Friday, August 23rd. Yes. Here we are. Um, so a lot to talk about today, but we'll, we'll try to keep it as brief as we can. Um, I want to start by thanking everyone who came out. We had a really great housing community meeting this mm -hmm. week. It was a joint meeting between uh, hosted by city staff and the affording affordable housing alternatives group. Aha. Uh -huh. um, it was like you can't really hope for a more pure form of local government where it's a, a local resident group working with the city to try to find solutions and uh, work towards amending our housing element to get the city owned sites off of there. We had a great turnout. We had 40 ish people in the wow. room, 20 ish people on the zoom, really constructive feedback and thoughts um, for most people um, in, in the meeting. Um, but it really was, I'm glad we had the meeting. It went about two and a half hours or so. So thanks to everybody who participated in that. Uh, we'll be coming back to council in September with an update on where we're at in that program. And then again in October. Great. Yeah. So that was really wonderful. Just local government at work. Um, speaking of local government at work, uh, we have our traffic safety committee yep. next week, which is comprised of you and me and our public works director. And this is a meeting that we have every quarter. It's um, us talking about items that we otherwise have authority to do within our own departments, but we, we like to have this public meeting. We operate it just like a public meeting. We talk, we discuss things, mm -hmm. we vote, and it's a way for the community to get invade, involved in traffic safety issues. And we, we take things throughout the quarter, emails, concerns from folks, hey, you know, this, uh, can we put a no parking sign here? Can we, can we restripe this? Uh, and most of that stuff we can take care of at our level, yep. but we do it in a public forum. Things like stop signs, we can't do. We don't have authority for that. Uh, we make recommendations though, to the city council. Um, and one of those things that we're gonna be considering next week that's going to be a recommendation is? AB 413, which is the daylighting law. Um, right. There's been a lot of discussion about that already. Uh, we went last, last time to traffic safety community to kind of give an overview of the law and how it Im might impact us. Since then, we've come up with a plan that we wanna present to the community through the traffic safety committee and it's just a plan and then we will present that in october mm -hmm. to the city council as a rollout so we are in compliance with the law because we have to start enforcing this by january 1st so we want to make sure that we are set up ready to do it and we're really focusing on how to implement this stay within the the rules of the law with the least amount of impact to the community and our parking which is obviously sacred here yeah basically the simplest way to put it is we're trying to find the solution that makes us remove the least amount of parking spaces possible we're gonna have to lose some parking spaces it's yep. just a fact it's correct the law but we're doing it in such a way that it's not going to be you know some folks have thrown out uh, large numbers you know four or five hundred parking spaces it's not going to be that many we're, no we're, i think uh, Seriously, tune in, come to the meeting. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised to yeah. see what we've come up with. The impact is minimal. Yeah, that's great. So that is next week, Wednesday, 1.30 here in the chambers. You can also participate via Zoom. We'll make sure that it's linked in the Friday letter. But as always, we put that on our agenda website, uh, the city calendar, all that. So mm -hmm. really excited about that. Another opportunity for community engagement. Um, and then the last thing I just want to give everyone an update on, and then I want to turn it over to you for sort of a recap of car week, um, is just an update on the beach stairs. So you probably noticed that a few weeks ago, uh, we moved some sand around and got one of the three beach stairs that were still closed opened. Um, mm -hmm. and I had mentioned at that time, what we were doing is we we're trying to, uh, to find a, a structural engineer to come out and walk those stairs with us. Uh, we believe that we can do some sort of short-term shoring and repairs on them because there is going to need to be a long-term fix that's uh, designed and rebuilt. Um, but I think we can get them open in the much shorter term. Um, it has been a challenge to find a structural engineer, honestly, to come and walk around with us. I, they're all very busy right now. Um, I think we've got somebody on the hook. Hopefully in the next week or so, uh, we can get down there and walk around. So we're still working on it. Bear with us. Um, there's two wood stairs that are still closed. We are working on trying to get those open in the much shorter term than going through, which is going to still happen, the, the effort of re-engineering and drawing and rebuilding. So that is gonna happen also, but we are working and I'm working on it personally with our public works team uh, to get someone out here and walk that with us so we can get them open in the short term, hopefully. Uh, so stay tuned on that. 
Um, so with that, I want to just a quick thank you to everybody, and then you'll have thanks as well. But thank you for you know a, a largely successful car week. Uh, you're going to talk a little bit about lessons learned. Yeah. And, um, you know, the paper had some numbers today, but uh, you know, everyone they still deserve big thanks. We have all of our volunteers, all your team, all the yeah. public works team. It's just it's a massive effort in such a small concentrated area. So I want to thank everybody for getting us through Car Week relatively safely. Um, Chief, why don't you debrief us a little bit? How, how do you think it went? Yeah, I, you know, I talked last time. This is my 15th. Despite taking the last two years off, this is my 15th Car Week. And we've seen a total change in Car Week over the decade and a half where the events are always, you know, well organized. Um, huge shout out to the library staff, mm -hmm. our community activities, our volunteers, public works for the hours of setup and preparation and planning. Just a great job. Um, but what's changed over the years, and we know this, is the nighttime activity, the crowds coming in. And every year we take, it, we take steps to minimize the impact on the community. Great job by my staff. I have officers who really put in a lot of hours, a lot of work. Um, I cannot thank them enough for mm -hmm. their efforts. If you see the stats in the paper, you'll see how busy we actually were. Uh, I think 663 calls over the week and a lot of citations, a lot of arrests. So they were really working. Um, we made decisions on the fly. We have some lessons learned, things we're going to take forward in our after action review in October, mm -hmm. things we can improve on and things we can move forward with. But all in all, we came out of this with very little major incidents That's and uh, the community safe. And that was our goal. Yeah. And that October after action review is with the council. So that'll be yes. a public meeting chance for the members of the public. And if you have thoughts between now and then you want to share with the PD, with City Hall, with acti community activities, let us know. I mean, we, we really like to get feedback. You know, if you're a business owner, if you're a resident, if you were a visitor, uh, you know, we, we want to make it better every year. So please share yeah. your feedback with us. Yeah. Uh, one other thing, despite being that busy, we had a call from Mad Dogs and Englishmen uh -huh. about a stolen rental bike valued at four thousand wow. dollars. Okay. That was in the pine cone as well. It was a lot of fun um, investigating this, working with Mad Dogs and Englishmen because they did a lot of the legwork, finding the bike for sale on Facebook, giving us some information so we could take it further, contact the suspect in San Jose, recover the bicycle. Somebody went to jail, and we got a bike back. So. That was great work by our officers too. Despite being busy this week, we were able to take care of that as well. Excellent police work. Thank you to, yeah. to you and the team. That's that's great. And we're taking you know taking care of our local businesses, responding to calls. That's that's great. So thank you for all that. Um, well, I think that's all we have for today. Um, we do have to say hello to Chip's mom. Hi, Chip's so, mom. Hi, Chip's mom. And um, I think we'll just tell everyone goodbye as we normally do by saying, take, take good, good care. care.